Hi, I'm Heinbach, and good to have you back. I'm heading out now to pick up some test equipment that I bought, but that was delivered to a Späti and not to my home. When you're buying test equipment and don't have a car, you have to adapt. Ooh. Yes, oh, manuals. Perfect. It's a brilliant care and it's a microphone amplifier. I got this and the microphone, which is in this package for a hundred bucks. Again, no power plug. Apparently everybody thinks you don't need power plugs. <laughs> yep. Cool. Wow. This is box alone is beautiful. And here we go. Whoa! This is the mother of all microphones. Et voila. Hello. And there's my beautiful wife. As I feared no power plug is included so i was looking around what could fit and i think this will work fine but it's too big so i need to take off the back which might be good anyway to just clean up so let's take off this and voila <sighs> this looks pretty there's not an extreme amount of dust in here. I would have suspected more. This must have been kept rather well. I'm not touching anything in here because you never know if something here still holds a charge. So let's see if this fits. Not really. I went around the corner to my local repair store and they gave me this <laughs> cable, power cable, regular one with just everything cut off already. And I got that for free, which was very nice. And he just said to put these here and it'll be fine. Here's the back side, and that's where I'm gonna solder. Let's see if this works. Yep, turns on. Unplug electrical tape. Ah! <laughs> I just got shocked by 220 volts because I had unplugged the soldering iron and not the brilliant care. This is an error I won't be doing again and I'm rather happy to be still with you because this might have ended fatally. Whoa! Okay. Okay. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, Ooh. Ooh. as you can see, the meter works. Shall we check how it sounds? This is volume. Oh, we got weighting networks. We need to check. Okay, these are filters. So we need to make it, oh, wow, okay. This is curve C. <laughs> oh man, I'm excited now. So there are these weighting networks, which are basically filters. So this is a lo-fi effect. This is a bit different, more a different lo-fi effect. And this is a more bassy lo-fi effect. Curve C seems very natural. And linear is of course, yeah, the most linear one. It does sound very intimate, but also very lo-fi-ish and warm somehow. So what I now want to do is compare this mic to the one in this Sony D100 PCM recorder, which I've been using to record this video with. Mosiden, Mosiden, zum Städele hinaus, Städele hinaus, und du, mein Schatz, bleibst hier. Wenn ich komm, wenn ich komm, wenn ich wieder, wieder komm, wieder, wieder komm. Now that we've tested the microphone, I think it's time that we try this as a bass amplifier. Whoa, poor filth. 
Why does it do this bird thingy? Linear. Curve C is pretty nice. That is quite a difference. With the 606, this preamp showed its strengths. It makes everything slightly compressed, warmer, especially if you take the Curve C on the waiting network. It has a sort of lift in the highs that I really enjoy. It makes the signal very much more hi-fi in a way, while the other lo-fi options are nice to have. And I preferred the signal from here to the clean signal, which sounded static compared to it. I'm rather happy with the preamp now. The microphone, yeah, I mean, that's interesting, especially in the lo-fi modes. It could be a great thing to have around for lo-fi stuff. So this preamp is still available cheaply. I see them go for 100 to 300 euros in Europe, maybe on classifieds. But of course, check out universities and such to grab one of those if you like the rather beautiful vintage tone that it has. I'm kind of a fan of that. And ah, we have to check piano.
So that's it for this video. I'm gonna put up a soundtrack from this on the Patreon and if you have any questions, do leave them in the comments below or in the subreddit. Thank you all for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.